guys you're all welcome to my channel my name is Alice and I'm excited to have you all here so today we are going to be doing something really really different I'm going to be telling you guys a story a story of my first heartbreak I hope you enjoy the story as I share it with you guys so so the story about my first heartbreak this is how it starts how did I meet this guy a friend of mine invited me for a house party so I went I was looking all amazing I was wearing these sneakers short skirt nice top everything was on fleek this was in 2010 I just lost my mom so it was like the ending of the year so I was all expecting to see a really nice guy that would make me forget my worries my sorrows so at the party I saw that everybody was all feeling fine, we were playing games, we were shouting, excited. Why me? I was just on my own, mm -hmm. forming like a good girl that I am. Lo and behold, one guy just perused and passed at my side. The guy just passed and I was like, ah, ah. who is this? The guy is like six feet, four inches tall. I will not even lie, chocolate, yummy, yummy and chubby. And I, I used to like chubby guys. So I was like, ah, ah, who is this? But I had to form like, mm, what the hot self? Mm, who is this one self? Anyhow, I just had to form like I was not interested. But hoping that he would talk to me. So I was there pressing my bow too. Pressing it and just hoping. Then someone just said, hello. And I raised up my head. Gang, 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 gang. Who was looking at me? The guy, let's call him Paul. It was there starting in only 6.4 glory and I was like ah, ah. my name is Alice so we got talking into the night he told me everything about him where he worked what he does and all that and we exchanged pleasantries so it was time to go and it was too late so we just said okay let's just stay over so I was there he was there my friend and other of my friends so he sat on the floor while I put my head on his lap till morning so he kept on rubbing my hair and I told him about how my mother died and every other thing and he was like it's okay in my mind I was like hmm husband material I don't see husband ah in my mind I wouldn't give birth to five children for him anyways so after the morning came we he dropped me over at my place took my number and left when he got home he called me sent me a message like it's so amazing meeting you i can't wait for us to do some amazing things together in my mind i was like oh chim i have finally met the one no oh. in my mind i've already bought a um, wedding gown i have looked for a venue in fact i'll give birth to children all the children i want for you Anyhow, the relationship kept progressed. We kept having fun, hanging out, and all that. But there was one red flag that I did not notice. Every time we wanted to see, he was taking me to his cousin's house instead of his own place. He was staying with his mom, but I was feeling that maybe after a while, he should be like, just come and know where I stay. But instead, he was taking me to his cousin's place. So this cousin had a girlfriend. So we got talking, every time we hang out, it was like a double date, the girl was always coming, we all chill together and all that. So, one day, that's how we were just talking about issues, and her and his cousin had a problem. So I called her and spoke to her and all that. And she was like, hmm, that way I spoke to her like a sister. And she does not tell me something that it will make me really bad. That every time I'm not around, that my boyfriend is to come with another girl. To the same house. And in my mind, I was like, ah, this girl wants me to have a problem like she, she has with her own boyfriend. But I ignored it. I didn't talk to it. So I did not even speak about it to my own boyfriend. We all kept quiet and we continued dating. I should have spoken. But I was like... Um, let me just overlook it and all that. Maybe she's lying and all. I shake me. That is to say, she is not. She was not lying. So anyhow, we kept on doing the relationship and all that. So one Friday, I called him. I was like, babe, what are you doing this Friday? I want to hang out with my friends. Are you coming? Are we going to meet there or something? He was like, no, no, no. That he has. He just wants to be low key. He wants to sleep and all that. That he's going to be playing ball the next day. So I said, okay, no problem. I'm gonna go have. I'm going to be having fun with my friends. If you know Roadrunners in Yaba, say hi. Okay, so we ended up at Roadrunners. I was walking into Roadrunners, stepping, stepping, stepping. 
And I turned my head, who did I see in one corner with one girl? They were smiling sheepishly at each other. The boyfriend. I was like, ah, ah. I just went, I just tapped his head. So what are you doing here? And he was like, eh. I just was like, hold it. And I catwalked. I went to the VIP section. Actually, he was in the regular. So when I was there, he now came. They didn't even want him to allow. The bouncer didn't even want him to come in. Anyhow, he was able to beg his way through. He came in. He was like, babe, um, this one is I can explain. He came up suddenly. My cousin forced me. I said, this cousin, what? Anyhow, I told him, okay, no problem. I was not like, okay, come and sit with I said, did I come out with you? Anyhow, he went. I went back to with my friends. I was so sad. I couldn't even stay long. I now left. When I left, he called, 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 apologized, apologized. Stupid me! Instead of me to run faster than my legs can carry me, I said, no, I will die in this matter. We continue doing our love. We will hang out, we'll do this, we'll do that. We never, I noticed that we never said anything about the future. Even when I tried to chip it in, he'd be like, uh, this one, this one, this one. But all he knew was, when he visited me, he'd be like, ah, babe, what did you cook? Babe, what did you cook? I'll be like, oh, I made Eddie Kai cook. Oh my God, you're a very good cook. He will eat, he will go. To pay for the food, he'll go, mba. To say this one, mba. He did not, we did not even talk about any future. All I know is we were shy, just wasting our time maybe with each other anyways i was still optimistic so one day i was just bored at home and i said okay let me just check up on facebook i opened facebook search this name i was welcomed with ada's friend i was like from here to here ada's friend bow why would i add somebody that is my boyfriend as friend so i checked i found that i was on his friend list and I checked his mutual friends. His mutual friends were still intact. The mutual friend we have with each other was still intact. So I called him. I was like, nigga, hello, I can't find you on my friend list on Facebook. He said, ah, I even wanted to tell you that I think my account has gotten compromised. This one, this one, hackers and all that. I said, hackers, bow. But your mutual friends are still there. So it's not like they deleted your account or took over your account and all that. That if they even took over your account, why is it that it's only me they deleted? It was like he doesn't know this one this one now what do i mean that am i trying to say that am i trying to say that he deleted me that was that this one so was not for me angry and i said oh, okay no problem now since you deleted me let me to delete you on my bbm so i deleted him on bbm he didn't even bother i'm sure it was so convenient for you i'm sure in his mind he'll be like ah okay now i'll be you've deleted me so what's the essence let everybody face their own life so I didn't hear from him again. So I saw him on Monday. I checked Facebook on Tuesday and found out that he had deleted me. So I deleted him on Wednesday. I was just one day, I was just sitting down, living my own quiet life that I have been living. I got a picture. That was on Thursday. When I checked the picture, what was it? It was this picture of him getting married at the court. So I looked at the picture, zoomed into the girl picture. She was not even fine. So I was like, I don't think he will even have anything to do with this kind of girl. Unknown to me, I shaped a remarriage, but I thought it was maybe he was doing it because he wanted papers or something. I don't know. I just gave him excuse like I always do. So that one went, that Thursday went on Friday. The same Oversabi friend sent me a picture of him doing his traditional wedding in all his glory. The gele, his um, Ibo attire, everything, all the regalia was on point. His mother was on one side. I don't know, maybe that would be her mother on the other side. Everything, just like, I was like, why is this? Why did those bad things happen to good people? I was so bitter. So I now sent him a mail. The hi, good to know you were planning something as big as this and you did not even inform me. Thank you for everything. The brother now replied and said, eh, it happened. I didn't want to bother you with all that stress. Um, life happens. Let us all move on with our lives. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, okay, God bless you. It was not like, okay, this one, this one. I didn't hear from him again. I now said, hey, who have I offended? I had to call my friends. They came around. This thing, this thing I'm telling you with smiles in my face. As at that time, 2012, it was one of the worst times of my life. I was like, 
who have I offended? I try my best to be the best girlfriend. When he says, um, I try to play according to his rules and all that. I didn't even have, I don't even know. But it was a really terrible time. So I was really bitter. My friends came around, we hung out. They stayed around with me for some time. Then I got better. So this happened like October, November. I didn't hear from him throughout to January. One day he called me, said he wants to see me. And I'm like, why would you just call me out of the blues and say you want to see me? He's not like, hey, there's something we need to talk and all that. I said, I'm busy. After like that, after that call, one week later, he called again and he's outside my house. Okay, so I went outside and saw him. He now was like, please, he needs me to forgive him. That if I have cursed him, I should please forgive him. That after the wedding, a lot of bad things happened. That he was, he was, his car was taken at gun gunpoint he got an accident he did this one he was just a lot of bad things that was happening to him and i was like nigga do not allow me to interrupt the karma the cause of karma when karma is done with you, you something better will happen no i don't even know what i said but i just rubbed it in and he was like apologizing and all that and i'm like i'm forgiving you he even tried to hold my hand i just picked it off and i just walked back into the house so i now stayed thinking i was like kind of a person is this a girl has that has not done nothing bad to you she has just been always good to you and you're paying her like this and you think after three months you can just walk into her life for two months and say sorry and she will just forgive you really though i was so pissed anyhow i shall forgive him moved on with my life and all that and i thank god that even now i'm in a better place but when I remember, I still feel, I still cringe at the capability of, of how wicked a man is. Or how wicked the heart of a man is. How can you look at me? You saw me on Monday. You are planning a wedding for Thursday. You can't kill. Anyways, let me stop ranting. This is where I come to the end of my story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, so now I want you to put in the comment section, tell me, if you have ever been heartbroken, what happened and how did you get over it? I will be um, excited to read from you guys. Thank you guys for always watching and um, to my new viewers, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and put on your noti the notification bell so you'll be prompted when I upload a new video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you guys and bye-bye. Um, bye, bye, bye.